Hi, Gemini. It's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. It's sun, Moon, and Rising. And for me, also, for the Feminine, you can use it for Mars and the Masculine for Venus. So I already pre-shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times, and then we're going to get going and see what we got. It's November 8th today, 2019. November 8th. I'm, just, I'm using my Rider Waite today, and I will clarify with a couple different decks. Probably use my Kipper deck and my mini Rider Waite, and we'll see. Maybe I'll pull a numerology card as well. Maybe not the numerology card. It's busy right now, but I'll pull you from another deck as well. Okay. So for Gemini, this. November 8, 2019, for the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? <sighs> for Gemini. Gemini. November 8, 2019. <sighs> all right. So the first card out for you guys, we have the tower reversed. The challenge is the nine of pentacles reversed what's in the foundation for you guys the king of pentacles upright and what's in the recent past the five of wands reversed what's crowning for you guys what's in your head in the now moment is the death card reversed the near uh, future what's coming up for you guys is the magician yay and that's gemini you see yourself as the temperance reversed. So feeling impatient and around you is the five of cups. The blocks that you need to clear or stuff you need to work on has to do with the eight of pentacles, okay, aligning with your desires perhaps or just work, being more creative. And then we end up here with the eight of cups. So I do a little hangman thing here. So whatever's connecting to whatever's left hanging at the end of this read, okay? So what's connecting that is the Eight of Wands. And what it's connected to, what's in limbo at the end of this read is the Page of Pentacles reversed. And then I pull a wild card, which you won't see till the end. And what's at the bottom of the deck? The underlying energy is the hangman. Okay. So let's see what we're dealing with here in the underlying energy, Gemini. What's going on for you? All right. We definitely have surrender here. Giving up. Letting go. Hanging out in limbo. Not feeling great. Drained. Overexposed, perhaps but with clarity. All right, so this is somebody with, this is the underlying energy we have here. Okay, so we have this, the two of swords here reversed. So there's clarity here. Enough information is in to make a decision, right? So you can make a decision now, but it kind of throws you off balance, whatever information you get in or the clarity that you receive. And then we have the nine of wands reversed here with the sun reversed and then the hangman. So giving up or surrendering but the sun is reversed, is either feeling sick, you know, just under the weather, um, but also can just be drained, it can be overexposed, overradiated, and just hanging out in limbo here. So just like an off day, kind of surrendering. This just could be staying homesick, or just hanging around doing not much, but you're clear of mind, okay? It's more of just not feeling well, or just off today, or you could have an illness. But there's clarity of thought here, and you're looking at m different perspectives while you're hanging out but you're being still. Um, in the recent past that's aligned with this energy has to do with the fight being over. No longer fighting or competing, um, maybe giving up on a quest for something. You know, this is because upright can be the pursuit of happiness too. So you could be giving up on that as well. Or just letting go of today and not thinking about anything, you know, to just see what else comes in. So the foundation is the King of Pentacles, which is great. You know, he's very stable. He's got it all together financially and in a practical way, right? He can be there for most people, but he's busy, right? He's got a lot of people probably relying on him. 
um, and he could be the one being still off you and him or you could be the king of pentacles as well but they're aligned with the wisdom but they're also line, aligned with impatience with the temperance card which is how you see yourself all right which is impatience could be a fallen angel as well losing your temper not taking one step at a time trying to rush things um, and the center of the read is the tower reversed so you're either avoiding something or it's in the aftermath of sudden events or an epiphany that you already had whatever this was so the the tower definitely could have been a fight and this is the aftermath of a fight that you had which is now over and now you're hanging out feeling drained from it and it could have been a long drawn out fight too or a quick fight whatever it was the challenge for you is, is either feeling drained in a practical way a loss of money power or independence or feeling go codependent on other people or literally losing your single status this is the challenge though maybe you're too independent and the challenge is being allowing yourself to spend some money or allowing yourself to feel dependent on somebody else so sometimes when you're dependent on yourself for so long it's scary to let go of that control because you worry that well how am I going to get back if I lose that control what if they dump me and now I'm on my own again and I can't handle it because I'm not ready for it so it's kind of that energy as well so what's in your head in the crown in the crowning position in this now moment has to do with the death card reverse so resisting the changes or you could just be dead tired or had a near-death experience going through dark night of the soul and just tired of it <laughs> or just you know just dead tired just tired and that's why you're giving up you're just exhausted because we have the sun reverse there's a lot of physical drain right now and it could be because of the energies coming in right now it's very draining um, what's coming up though is the magician so you get back to it for sure this is coming back into your empowerment finding all your tools letting go of all the insecurities and remembering who you are Gemini right but there's with that magician comes that impatience energy that's definitely Gemini personality both my parents are Gemini so and I have a Gemini brother so lots of Gemini in my family um, and a nephew um, around you is either or how people see you you see yourself as impatient they see your you being sad and not letting go of the past and not letting go of the baton so you're staying at the Y in the road as opposed to choosing to finish the race or to dump it and start over again you're clinging to the Y in the road not making a decision feeling sad loss could be just grieving someone's death as well but also could be guilt and shame that's blocking you from moving forward and for Gemini it has much to do with your impatience impatience with others impatience with yourself the blocks that you need to clear have to do with working patiently one thing at a time one project at a time aligning with your desires maybe you're not really seeing what your true desires are maybe what you thought you wanted to do in the past is no longer who you are so maybe you just need to realign with your new desires a new lineup a new way of doing things a new job altogether or just putting more creativity into your work and slowing it down you have all the tools you need now you know that and you're coming out of a long period of the struggle and there's still always going to be need to go walk away and go within when something's missing or you're emotionally unfulfilled so this is again so it's always okay especially when you're feeling dead tired and even when you are resisting the change it's okay to stop and take a moment take a walk and go within kind of regroup again you know rebalance yourself come back to zero point and then what's um what's connecting you to what's going to be hanging in limbo from this read has to do with expressing yourself so this is connecting you to where you need to go but wherever it's connecting you is still is, is still um open-ended all right there's a connection still there so there's lots of expression of feelings energetic exchange um, going back and forth um, this is and with mercury retrograde we should be having communication and and travel delays but this is not this is saying it's clear right now it might be tomorrow but right now it's clear for communications and travel so it's really good so it's saying when you go when you stop when you're when you do get impatient to stop and go within and that allows the clarity come through in communication and travel for you 
And then what will be left in limbo here is the page of pentacles reversed. This is someone in need of help, money, or opportunity. It can be a child as well who needs your help, um, who's hanging in limbo right here. So you might be going back and forth a lot with a child, or this is your own need for help. It's like you're doing a lot of work within, <laughs> a lot of back and forth within. Um, and don't be too proud to ask for help, but also uh, it may be a need that you need to learn that you don't always need help, that you have the tools. You're the magician up right now. You don't need to ask for other people for help anymore or money because you have the power to manifest, ma manifest it yourself. You know, maybe one of your wounds from when you were a child was you never knew how to take the first steps into manifesting something new for yourself. And so you're always asking for help and then people would always get annoyed with you for asking. So they brushed you off and would always say, do it yourself. I'm tired of helping you. And so you kind of just felt helpless. But now you've grown and you've gone within and you found, you know how to manifest. You just have to be patient with yourself. It's part timing, but part being patient with yourself as well and knowing sometimes it's just not the right time to go forward. And so for Gemini, it's tough with that, you know, waiting, waiting it out. So the wild card that you haven't seen that comes up here is the Knight of Cups reversed, which has to do with rejection, jealousy, insincerity, refusing to be or give love. So when you, when you, it's saying that when you feel vulnerable again, like you need help with something, and you feel like you can't do it and there's no one there to help you, you just shut off, you shut down and you say, instead of being love, I'm gonna shut off completely from giving or receiving love because I can't handle it anymore. So you get so overwhelmed, you just shut it all down, which doesn't serve you because then you're pulling in that same energy. Feeling rejected, feeling like you're unworthy of that help or love or money or whatever it is, which just pulls in more of the same. So it's just about turning this over because you want that, this is who you want to be. You want to walk around the world and just be love. And then you receive love because you are love all the time. And this is connected to you suffering in silence. So stop being by yourself then. You need to, you need to make an effort then each day to connect with someone outside of yourself or go outside of your house even, which I'm, you know, I'm guilty of that too, but Sorry about the shadowing, but this is when you're not giving or receiving love. When you feel rejected or you're being insincere, you're not being your authentic self, it's just causing more pain for you. Whereas, you know, if we turn this guy this way, you know, you're closer to ending the pain to the number 10 and getting out of the whole pain cycle altogether. So even when things are rough, never stop being or allowing others to give you love. This could be too, like you think you're too proud to let other people help you. Like you think, you either think that you need to do it all on your own because that's the way your parents taught you to do it, which I, I have that issue because both of my parents were Gemini. I used to, I have very intelligent parents who would never help me with anything with school. And so I have a, a, a big uh, frustration there. As soon as I don't know how to do something, I just shut down. And that's very much what's coming up here. All right, so when someone you've shut down someone, you've disallowed somebody from offering you love because you'd rather suffer alone. You have that attachment to the suffering. It feels good to you to suffer because that's what you were taught when you were little. So it's about just turning it around, either you not giving love or you not allowing someone else to give you love. Whichever end of it is the same coin, that's the wound that you need to heal right now. All right, so. Let's see, from the Kipper deck, we're gonna pull cards, see what the Kipper deck says. What's, what is the point of this read for Gemini? What is the point of this read for Gemini? You got your power, but then you get impatient and you it, that's what kills you, because you're not being patient. And that's, it's definitely gonna be with other people, but right now it's, it's about the patience with yourself. So Gemini, what is, and Spirit's connecting with me very strongly on that. So here's what's coming up for Gemini is unexpected income and wealthy man. So someone might be coming into your world that you weren't expecting. He's got a lot of money and maybe offering you something. But if you're so shut down to see it, you're going to block it right out. 
right? Someone wants to help you. It may even be a connection to expose your work more or connect you to other people who you're really going to resonate with. Um, there's something official here as well. Someone might want to come in with a project and actually officially do work with you, or this could be even someone who um, ha could have something romantic in mind as well. But there's definitely work here for sure. Something official. It's unexpected income. Could be, it's possibly it could be an inheritance or something like that, but it looks like it's coming more from work. And there's more adjudication here. So these two cards came up as well. So it's definitely work-related, toil and labor, and something official. It could be working with someone, making it official, like contracting with someone who's wealthy and making it official, um, and maybe starting out as work partners, but maybe it's going to lead to something else. We have the community at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it's, it's saying this is about you feeling part of a community, being pulled into a family, perhaps. And let's see here. I'm going to go for my, my good tarot. Let's see what else is coming up for Gemini here. You definitely need to go within right now. When, when every, every time you get impatient, Gemini, you have to keep practicing going within at that moment until you learn to automatically be more patient. I mean, that was my problem growing up is because my mother had no patience and she would lose her temper constantly and I was her biggest target. So... I, I literally remember myself saying to her when I was, you know, why can't you just let me be me? She had her own issues, so. And there's, there's a big attachment to intelligence and impatience. You know, people with, um, with autism or very high IQs tend to have a, ver a very uh, short fuse. Okay, let's see here. For Gemini, what else do they need to know? This one will want to come right out. And it's love, but it's reversed. So it's saying again, it's the Knight of Cups. Reverse. All you have to do is turn it around, whether it's loving yourself or someone else. All right? Even when you're all alone, you don't need to suffer. That's you choosing to suffer. Just turn it around. Walk, walk outside, go somewhere, even if you have to go out and eat by yourself for dinner or something. Just go out and start a conversation with your waiter or waitress. Get yourself out of your head. Okay, I know. The bottom of the deck for this is the five of water. Okay, so again, it's about grief. So whether you're grieving a death, all right, and it's obviously there's always a time to purge. But you can't stay in the purge. You have to start breaking it up by getting... You can't stay alone all the time. You need to get out once a day at least if you are alone and you're not working. Or maybe you need to get outside of the house to work if you are working at home and you're still very within. You need to just break that up and get back to communicating, connecting with other people. Don't be too proud. But also know that, or it's one end, one end or other of the spectrum. Either don't be too proud to let other people help you, or stop asking people for help. You don't need it. You have the tools. Go within and take the time. Don't be impatient. Take one step at a time, and you can do it for sure. That's what it's saying. All right. Now with my mini, my mini mini rider weight, just a few more, and then then we'll get going. Written. It was just at 19. The sun. You have the power to turn that sun right back up again and be at full power. You have the magician going. It's all about impatience and feeling sorry for yourself. You have all the tools you need just to be happy. It's just patience. It's just shutting down because of impatience. You become overwhelmed and then you shut down and think you can't do it. All right. So it's just take one step at a time. There's no hurry. There's nowhere to get. It's not about the outcome. It's about the journey to enjoy what you're doing, whatever creative process. So enjoy your creative process. Why do, why do we have temperance reverse for Gemini? There we go. Well, there's an offer of a new beginning. This wealthy person's coming in, wealthy man. 
All right. We have a wealthy man coming in, which is what this looks like, but you're broken or you don't have a car or something, or you don't have the money to travel, making a trip or a move. Maybe this offer is really good, but maybe you feel you're thinking of all the reasons why you can't as opposed to all the reasons why you can if you ask for help. And then we have the Knight of, or excuse me, the Page of Swords reversed and then the Five of Swords reversed. So there, you, it could be all negative self-talk and it's like you're just taking yourself down. You have this beautiful offer of a new life, but you're thinking of all the reasons why you can't. So it's negative self-talk and being on the war path. And remember the war path is just the war within. It's not real, it's all thoughts. It's all negative self-talk. It could be talking shit about other people feeling like you feel like people are talking shit about you you think rumors are out there or it could be spying someone's trying to take you down or you don't trust the offer because people have screwed you over in the past well you have the tools you're a master manifester feel into it what do you feel when you're in this other person's presence does it feel really good or does it feel suspicious use your intuition your feelings not your thoughts you know you have all the tools to do it you're Gemini Get out of your head. I know you like to use your brain to figure things out and that's going to be part of your process. But when you are meeting people or making decisions, you have to go all into your body and let go of your mind. So that's definitely what's going on for you. Um, okay, so what about the, the page of pentacles reversed? All right, there's a, someone's trying to give you a new life. You have to trust it. So trust is an issue for you. You feel broken, you feel like it could be an emergency of some kind or a child goes to the hospital for something um, and it could be battling it's just frustration and impatience here you could be having patience with children but it's really about impatience with yourself and if you work on this over and over every time you get start to get impatient pull yourself back in and meditate until it becomes normal for you when you start being more patient with yourself you'll start being more patient with your kids all right. Stop seeing them as the enemy or yourself as the enemy. It's all about that. It's all about patience. There is a there is a wealthy man, the king of the king of pentacles are coming in there. I, I I don't know. It could be your one of if your kid's dad is involved. It could be this rich man offering you an opportunity. Um, the opportunity is great. It came up twice for you to understand that this is for you. This is a brand new life or a big financial offer of this card is all about complete contentment in your life. It, it's pentacles. It, it encompasses all, all of the elements. It's the end of the cycle. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there because it's pretty clear what you need to do. Rise and be loved, Gemini. Have a great one. You can do it. Bye.